Welcome to comprehensive introduction to Corona for Cinema 4D. In this series of premium video tutorials in more than 8 hours, that's about 500 minutes of video tutorials, we'll learn how to use Corona for Cinema 4D. This is an academically approached high quality course on Corona for Cinema 4D from the guys at mographplus.com who have been teaching render engines including Corona, V-Ray, Arnold and Maxwell to thousands of students from around the world for the past 5 years. The videos are categorized into six sections. In section one, we give you a general overview of Corona's user interface and general workflow in Cinema 4D. Section two is all about lighting and global illumination. First, we explore Corona light and all of its future. Then we talk about global illumination or indirect lighting. We learn how light rays work in real world and how Corona simulates the same behavior using global illumination. Then we start learning about the two GI solvers in Corona, path tracing and UHD cache, and when and where to use each one to produce the most realistic lighting possible. After learning about the basics of lighting and GI, we take a look at Corona's sun and sky, image-based lighting, Corona light material, we learn how to do interior lighting properly and efficiently, we learn about volumetric effects in Corona, and finally explore the amazing light mix future in Corona that allows for real Lighting the scene during or after the render interactively. Section 3 is dedicated to Corona materials and maps. First, we learn about Corona material or Corona MTL, which is the main material in Corona. We learn everything about Corona material and how to create realistic shaders with it. We explore layered and re-switch materials. We take an in-depth look at Corona skin material to achieve extremely realistic skin shaders. We explore Corona hair material that is capable of producing very natural and realistic hair shaders. We learn about shadow catcher material and how to integrate your 3D geometries onto HDR environments or photographic backplates in Corona. And finally go through all the remaining materials and maps that are included in Corona. In the next section, we learn about Corona camera and camera effects. First, we explore Corona camera in depth, then we learn how to produce and adjust effects like depth of field and motion blur. We talk about different camera types, including VR in Corona. Then we discuss lens effects like bloom and glare. Like other topics after watching this section, you should be a master of handling your camera in Corona because everything has been explained in extreme details and based on academic approach. In the next section, we take a look at Corona render settings. First, we learn about Corona frame buffer. We take a look at progressive rendering limits. We learn about resumable rendering and how to use the noising feature to achieve noise-free renders. Then performance settings, which are probably the most important render settings in Corona will be discussed. We explore GI versus AA balance, light sample multiplier, max sample intensity, and max ray depth. And finally, we discuss Corona render elements or render passes. We go through all the render elements and learn how to generate different render elements and what each one adds to the final render. Then we learn how to composite those render elements using an external application like After Effects. In the final section, we take a look at Corona Proxy, Corona Composting Tag, Visibility Options, and finally Corona Scene Converter, which allows for a simple conversions of Cinema 4D and VRE scenes to Corona scenes. We plan to keep this course alive and update the course with more video tutorials as soon as a new version of Corona is made available. So there you have it. If you are looking for a detailed, academically approached, high quality course on Corona for Cinema 4D, I promise you absolutely cannot find better than the comprehensive introduction to Corona for Cinema 4D by MoGraphPlus.com. My name is Kamel Khezri from MoGraphPlus.com and I'm honored to be your instructor for this course. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.